you may have gotten invited to a wedding and you get the invitation so excited and then the next thought is what the heck am i going to wear well let's get into it i've got some great ideas planned for you and we're going to cover everything you need to know so that you look and feel like the perfect wedding guest i'm going to help you put together the right outfit for your body style for your next wedding so let's dive right in. Tip number one is pay attention to the dress code. Take a look at the wedding invitation and make note if there's any specific dress code. You don't want to look out of place by not wearing the right thing for the wedding. It might be a black tie event in which you'll opt for a floor length gown or a chic cocktail dress. For a dressy casual wedding, a knee length dress or a jumpsuit would be perfect. This is my biggest tip I could give you today. It's better to be overdressed than underdressed for a wedding. Tip number two I have for you is to choose a sophisticated color palette. As a woman over 50, you have earned the right to wear whatever colors make you feel vibrant and confident. However, when attending a wedding, it's best to avoid white, ivory, or any shade that might upstage the bride. Opt for rich jewel tones, classic navy, or even soft pastels for a sophisticated and stylish look. Tip number three I have for you is to accessorize wisely. Accessories can make or break an outfit, so we're going to choose them wisely. Statement necklaces or chandelier earrings can elevate a simple dress while a chic clutch or elevate elegant scarf can add a touch of class. When selecting shoes, you do want them to be beautiful, but you also want to be comfortable. You'll be on your feet a lot, so opt for a modest heel or even fashionable flat. Tip number four is we are going to layer up with elegance. Depending on the season, the venue, or the time of day, you may need to layer up your outfit for warmth and style. A tailored blazer, an elegant wrap or shawl, or even a lightweight cardigan can add both function and flair to your ensemble. Tip number five is embrace your shape. First and foremost, choose an outfit that flatters your body shape, whether you're an hourglass, pear, apple, inverted triangle, or rectangle shape. There are outfits out there specifically tailored for your body shape. Wearing an outfit for your body shape will accentuate your best features. For example, if you are an hourglass figure, that means you have a well-defined waist and balanced hips and bust. The key to dressing the hourglass figure is to accentuate your waist and maintain balance between your upper and lower body. Here are the best dresses for an hourglass shape. First one is wrap dresses. This classic style cinches at the waist, highlighting your curves while creating a beautiful silhouette. Fit and flare dresses are also great for you because fit and flare dresses accentuate your waist and flare out at the hip, maintaining your body's natural balance. Sheath dresses also work for you as an hourglass. You're going to opt for sheath dresses that have a defined waistline as they will follow your body's natural curves. Next up is the pear shape. Now pear shaped bodies have wider hips and thighs compared to their upper body. The goal is to balance the lower body with the upper body while accentuating your waist. Here are some dresses for you to try. A-line dresses. A-line dresses gently flare out from the waist, creating a balanced silhouette and drawing the eye away from the hip area. Empire waist dresses are also good for you. Dresses with an empire waist accentuate the narrowest part of your waistline. It's just below the bust and flow away from the hip. An asymmetrical hem dress is also good for you. Asymmetrical hemlines draw the eye upwards, balancing out your lower body and adding visual interest. Now this is one of my favorite right now, puff sleeve dresses. Puff sleeves create the illusion of broader shoulders, which in turn balances out the wider hips of the pear-shaped body. Detailed necklines are also good for a pear-shaped figure. Dresses with intricate necklines or embellishments such as lace, beading, or ruffles draw attention to the upper body and help create a balanced look. Next, we are covering the apple-shaped body. Now, apple-shaped bodies tend to have a fuller bust and a less defined waist. The goal is to elongate the torso, create the illusion of a waist, and balance the overall silhouette. Dresses that work best for you are shift dresses. A shift dress hangs straight down from the shoulders, skimming over the waist and hips for a balanced look. Wrap dresses also work for apple shape. A wrap dress can create an illusion 
of a waist, defining your midsection and helping to showcase your curve. V neckline dresses. V necklines also work for apple shape. A V neckline elongates the torso and draws attention to the face, creating a flattering look for apple shape. Rectangular body shapes. Here are the dresses you should wear to the next wedding. If you're a rectangular shape, you have balanced shoulders, bust, and hips with very little definition to the waist. The goal is to create an illusion of curve and add visual interest to your silhouette. The best dresses for your body shape are fit and flare dresses. Fit and flare dresses can create curves by cinching in at the waist and flaring at the hip. Belted dresses. Adding a belt to your dress can help define your waist and create the illusion of curve. A peplum dress is also great for you. Peplum dresses add volume to the hip, creating a more balanced silhouette and emphasizing the waist. Now, if you're an inverted triangle, I've got the dresses you need to wear for the next wedding. Now, an inverted triangle shape has broader shoulders and bust compared to the waist and hip. The goal is to create balance by drawing the attention to the lower body and softening the shoulder line. Here are some dresses that would work well for you. A-line dresses work wonders for the inverted triangle shape. Because they flare out at the waist, they add volume to the hips balancing out the broad shoulders. A dropped waist dress. Dropped waist dresses sit lower on the hip, emphasizing the lower body and creating the illusion of a more balanced silhouette. Halter neckline dresses are also great for you. Halter necklines draw attention towards the center of your body and away from the shoulders while highlighting your assets. Strapless or off-the-shoulder dresses are also great for you. These dresses can help soften the shoulder line and draw attention to the bust and waist. Okay, now we've covered all of the body shapes and the dress styles that are best for you. I have one more tip for you confidence is key. Most importantly, when you're heading out to a wedding, wear your outfit with confidence. You're a beautiful and accomplished woman and your presence at the wedding is a testament to the love and support you bring. So stand tall, smile, and enjoy the celebration. Do you have any tips I've left out? Let me know in the comments. And as always, I'll provide links to everything I've mentioned in the description below and I'll see you in the next video.